First at four, new details on the murder-suicide which claimed the life of a beloved York County teacher. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 43 News. First at four, I'm Madeline Cudahy. Spring Garden Township Police are revealing more about what led up to the deadly confrontation between Central York High School teacher Erin Walker and her next-door neighbor this past Saturday. Our Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz is live in Spring Garden Township tonight with the latest. Alyssa. Yeah, Maddie, the police chief is calling this a senseless and tragic loss of two lives. He says that it all started with a dispute over the recent placement of this smaller shed in Mr. Barry's backyard, which you can see here over my shoulder, and ended with both neighbors dead. What occurred this past Saturday was a senseless loss of life and tragedy for both families as well as our community. Spring Garden Township's police chief echoing a sentiment felt all over the Central York community. Two families and an entire school community now left grieving. Erin Walker, a Central York High School teacher and mother of a three-year-old girl shot by her next door neighbor, Daniel Berry, on Saturday evening. According to police, officers were called multiple times by both neighbors over the recent placement of a shed in Berry's backyard between last Thursday and Saturday. When the shed was installed, one of Walker's phone lines became disconnected from her home. Apparently, this precipitated phone calls between Miss Walker and Mr. Barry over responsibility for fixing this um, disconnected line. Police made arrangements with Verizon to come fix the line. In the meantime, Walker filed a complaint with the township zoning office, saying the shed was placed illegally. Police confirmed Barry never obtained a permit. Then on Saturday, the two got into a discussion when Walker returned home from the store, according to neighbors whose security camera captured the incident. That discussion led to Barry shooting Walker multiple times, then turning the gun on himself. We deal with these civil disputes, you know, over, line, over boundary lines and, you know, other things. And, and to have this with the death of, of Aaron Walker and Daniel Barry, if it was the result of this yet, it's, it's tragic. It didn't need to happen. Now, police say that there may be other factors which could have contributed to this tragic outcome that they're not currently aware of or that they, of course, may never know. Now, officers are continuing to look into whether or not Barry legally purchased that gun. And at this time, they are also not speculating or commenting on his physical or mental state. Reporting live in Spring Garden Township, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.